world's changed a little bit in the last couple of years, I would say. And I, I think the biggest single change is obviously the whole arms race for data. And not for data, but how you use data. There's plenty of data. That arms race is there. It's how you use it. But, but more importantly, I think that marketers today want speed to market. They want an ecosystem that's easy to navigate. They want transparency. And they want really smart people on their business. So when you think about the evolution of holding companies where very, very decentralized, bought up a ton of companies, uh, not integrated, but selling all kinds of different services. When you think about the issue that took place a couple of years ago with transparency and what happened there. When you think about places that are easy or not easy to navigate, you've got aircraft carriers versus speedboats. And when you think about companies that are completely integrated and non-siloed, it's the antithesis, I think, of a, of a holding company. So what I think the advantage that a company like Horizon Media has is that from early on, we were fully integrated, we built the company organically, and kept on adding services when we felt we could take the next bite out of the apple. We've been fully transparent from day one. We didn't build the company by buying a whole bunch of different entities that have conflicted interests. So I think that what we provide marketers in today's ecosystem is speed to market, transparency, a fully integrated company, and I think amazing talent, because I think we're attracting a lot of the great talent today. So how do you go about attracting talent? It's very competitive, and it's not just getting the college grads who know Excel sheets. Uh, it's, it's, there's a lot of complexity there. Yeah, so talent today, in my opinion, is a culture game. And not only for kids that are coming out of school, because they do a ton of homework in terms of the kind of company they want to go work for, and let's, let's, let's bucket it a little bit. So when I talk about talent coming out of school, these smart kids have lots of choices and we want to bring them into our industry. And once we bring them into our industry, obviously I'd like to get the best and the brightest to my company. But we're fighting a bit of an uphill battle with the pocketbook of Google and Facebook and Amazon and some of the other tech companies. And I believe that our industry has to somehow figure it out an enormous pivot if we are going to get the best and the brightest in our industry. And if we don't do that, the talent drain is going to continue and I see some big storm clouds on the horizon. When you talk about talent that's already in the industry, most people today, culture is meaning more and more than it meant 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago. So we attract people, I think, through the business's personal culture that we built. We call it the third bucket, all kinds of extracurricular activities that we offer our employees. So there's a work balance and then there's a outside of work balance within the ecosystem. You know, for me, utopia for me is when we can get to a situation where 80% of their day is spent on their day job and they can spend 20% of their day exploring and growing and evolving in lots of other areas. And until we figure out how do we bring the best and the brightest into our industry, it's going to be very hard to get there. And Bill, the um, duopoly of Facebook and Google take up so much air out of the room and so much budget. Uh, are they going to suck everything out? In other words, let me ask you this. In context of Facebook and Google and their incredible power uh, and command of the marketplace, what's the opportunity for television? What's the opportunity for other media? Yeah, so, you know, the, the world is not static. The world constantly moves. There are some storm clouds over Facebook right now. How are they going to deal with their data play in the future? There are some big storm clouds with Google with regard to brand safety and their data play and where are they going to be in the future. You've got some amazingly strong linear and digital companies out there that number one are consolidating number two, building out digital ecosystems, number three, spending a lot of money on subscription services and other forms of entertainment to drive scale. So I think that, that Facebook and Google will be chipped away at over the next five years. They're not going to have the hold on the ecosystem that I think people think they will have. The one that I'm really, really concerned about is Amazon and their ability to continue to scale the data and information they have on purchasing power, 
the fact that they're getting into every business under the sun, including the content business, so now competing with the traditional media players out there, they're the ones I'm worried about. And when I say worried about, they're the ones I would say I have my biggest eye on in terms of the kind of chunk that they're going to take out of the Apple in the future. But a lot of money to go around, a lot of players to go around, and I think that the market will continue to evolve, and there's going to be someone three years from now that we've never heard of out there today, like the Googles and the Facebooks of yesterday.